Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 with yours truly Lord of the Mad. Hi Lord of Persis Army, just speaking about the two boxes, Mad will get us back to 2013. And all right, looking at. Well, right. As I said, I'm going to walk back to where I was with. Uh, I'll expect to go around looting some stuff. And th for that matter, I'm going to check the local map and see if there's any loot. I may or may not have forgotten to familiarize myself with. How do I switch the floor plan on this? Oh, rather easily actually. Okay. Apparently no loot of uh, any major kind has been lost here. Maybe some Book of the Dead pages, but those aren't marked on the map. Well, hi there. I didn't see you last time. I'm down here. Geronimo! Got it. Now I'm running. Right, I was meant to try out if the coolers are actually any use here, so... They're not, they're not heavy enough. And how are you supposed to... Is it a grappling hook thing? It may be a grappling hook thing. Never mind. And that now, since I actually know there are more grappling hook things in this area, I'll just come back here when I have a grappling hook. Okay. Return to Tristone. I don't actually know how to travel. Is it enter? It's such a far distance away. Alright then. So, I guess my first option is to go and speak to our good friend. I don't remember what his name was. Okay, so... No, no one is here. No one. I wanted to come talk to them, but they're not here. Which also reminds me, I was supposed to talk to Khan about that helmet they found. But I guess I can talk to Dane instead, because it was technically his helmet, wasn't it? Hey, Dane. Uh, out with that horseman. I can tell when you've come to boast. The forge has been restored. <laughs> Aye, and Alia ran round the village the moment the waters reached us, giggling like a 2,000 year old. <laughs> It's a right noble deed for one of the riders. Perhaps I was wrong about you. Fight. 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 Come on. Ooh, you actually back a bunch, don't you? So do I. I'm just gonna focus on it now. You're welcome. I've got a lot. Imagine that, don't you? Did I seriously level up while beating his butt? Oh, did I seriously kick his butt? Well, a battle one should never go unrewarded. You got lucky. Mayhaps I am too old to do this. Age isn't everything. So. You can fight an old warrior, but to earn your name, you'll have to do better than that. <laughs> Bathia, Akedna, Argo, these are what we makers call death. You kill them all, and mayhaps I will grant you are the true Reaper. Sounds like a challenge. Who is Bathia? If I'm to be your executioner, I would hear more of those that I'm to kill. I will tell you what I know. Where can I find Bathia? Bathir and her kind once ranged across the forge lands, hunting us like cattle as we made this world our home. One by one, we hunted down and slayed the fell beasts. But Bathir, she made herself a deep burrow and slithers out only to feed. 
I only know that she's a beast of fire and smoke, and that she's made a lair beneath the earth. What about Gorwood? What of Gorwood? Once, Gorwood was a friend to my people. Then why seek my aid? Corruption has taken our forest, and Gorwood is a being of that old wood. Where one goes, so goes the other. Gorwood is filthy with corruption. He must be put down. Echidna? Even I know the name Echidna. Why do you seek her death? Uh, an old debt, forged before your time. All know the Shadow Realm of Echidna. Why do you not travel there and kill her? I have tried, only to find her realm in chaos. The Spider Lords had bathed her throne in blood, and Echidna was nowhere in sight. I spent years following her trail to the realm of the dead. Then, all this happened. I returned home to my people and left old debts unpaid. And Argon? Tell me about Argon. Ah, a madman, a beast in need of killing. I had sight on the deed myself when the current Lord of Bones rose up and defeated the mad king of the undead. Then Argon is no more. My bones have always told me otherwise. The old king lives. I'm sure of it. All right, thank you for your time. So I'm supposed to find and kill Kate here. Find and kill Corwood. Find and kill Akidna. Find and kill Arbel. Whatever his name was. The post king, yeah. That's a titan. That works. The Maker's Forge. It is finished then, at long last. Death, this is a maker's key, and you had best take it now, before I come to my senses. <laughs> you seem more likely to lose them, old one. A problem, aye. But there is also a solution. The Guardian, meant to be our greatest weapon and capable of clearing the forest around the tree. But an earthquake drove us from the foundry, and now, I fear something else roams within. The Guardian was never finished. If the Guardian is your masterwork, how am I to complete him? In the forest lies another construct, one of the few remaining who have not fallen to corruption. He is not as vast as the Guardian, but his heart is strong. Seek him out, and he will guide you to the foundry. There, you may activate the Guardian using the Maker's key. Alright, tell me more about the key. The constructs are awakened by a key. Aye. Constructs do not have a soul like you or I. Not until that soul is given. This key unlocks the stone and prepares it for the ebb and flow of a Maker's life force. In fact, it will bring to life most any construct you find in the realm. <laughs> and what makes you think I have a soul, old one? Isn't that what troubles you? Tell me about more about constructs. How will I know when I've found this construct? Constructs are beings of boulder and stone, animated by a maker's life force. Most possess but a fraction of a soul. Just enough to drive them and give them purpose. But through others course the whole of a maker's being, his memories and emotions, a story half remembered. Life weighs heavy on us all. Not even stone can bear it. You wardens power? If wardens can resist corruption, why not use them to cleanse your realm? Sadly, the wardens were called when the seals were broken. The maker's toll to be paid at the end war. This warden is all that remains. Hmm. Then the seals were broken.
You can't sniff anything. I am an animal. Also, hi. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You? The forge blazes again, Ryder, thanks to you. But that's no excuse to hang about. Have you not a construct to awaken? Tell me more about the key. Why use a key to awaken the constructs? Spirit doesn't pass through stone, unless you carve a channel for it. That's what the key is for. It's sharp enough to slide through the stuff of life. Be careful where you point it. I'm hoping constructs and not makers. Oh, sure, this key is special. Valis doesn't seem so impressed. Aye, he mourns the loss of his friend. Valis had a friend? Oh, aye, his great hammer, Splinterbone. It felled many a giant. But Valis lost it in a dungeon west of here, and it weighs heavy upon him. If you can find Splinterbone and return it to my brother, you will earn his gratitude. Mayhaps the forging of a proper weapon. This dungeon. What was Valis doing in a dungeon? We hope to restore the shattered forge within, but it was corrupted and overrun by the sea and vermin. We barely escaped with our lives, no thanks to Khan. Khan? You let that pop guide you? Aye. At the time, we did not see the harm, but Khan would do anything to prove himself. I fear one day he will go too far. Oh, Valis has been busy. Oh, well, you'll have to offer more than that. So, lots of expensive stuff, none of which you can sell. Ooh, purple items. I'm just gonna sell some stuff. Alright, selling pretty much everything gave me some decent amount of cash to use. I could even get a dire hammer of shock, except it's less powerful than my current hammer. There is an achievement for getting uh, purple items in every one of your slots. So maybe I should look into that at some point, but uh, just not now. You will find the hammer just past the fjord. The stone father be with you, horseman. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. And you? Restoring the forge has given us hope, but hope looms as heavy as any sorrow. Right. <sighs> Going back up again. Now. What else is he doing here? What lies beyond? What is this place? It is apparently part of Tristone, but it's certainly no part I've seen before. Will they restore the bridge at some point? Allowing me to traverse over there? Mayhaps. Sounds legit. Right, I wonder... If that one uh, statue I saw before may or may not be what I actually need. Wait, can I not uh, go for the larger map from here? Oh, I could have. Uh, let's do just that. Skip to the fjord for a second. There is something I need from there. Yes. To be fair, there are many things I need from here, but uh, something I knew I can get is what I'm thinking of. You wanna fight? Sure. But to ask, ask you some questions, right? Okay, now I have maximum potions for both things. Wait. There's apparently a wall that is visible from this bridge that is enough to assist me onto this platform. But I'm not, not entirely sure what wall this may be. Hmm. 
Come on, hello. This was a lot easier than I expected. We won't fault for doing the same mistake that Total Biscuit did in that regard. Assuming that you have to jump from there instead of finding a way from there. Hello, chest, what do we have? And while this chest was certainly something worth visiting, it's not what I actually came here for. Is there a way for me to get inside? There may be. Does this mean access to the chests I saw on the map? Well, it means access to a chest that's on the map, but I think the other one is up there. On that platform that's visible from here. Oh, and there's a hole in the, the rain. Uh, no mind that. Okay, got the skip out of here. Now here's whom I was thinking of. How do I... Is it not the construct? Oh, it's not whole. It's a broken thing. It won't work. Will it? But there's the Shattered Forge. That's where I was asked to go, so maybe I should try and get that way. That seems to be the easiest quick travel location right now. There's the nook. There's the Lost Temple. There's so many places to go. Um, hmm. <laughs> Uh, let's try to ride for the forge. Get the hammer for our good friend. Right, ride on. I'm still not entirely sure as to how to get that one mark over there that's just floating about like a big silly. I'm going to give it a try again. There we go. Good. One fifth of all the boatman coins collected. Yeah, boatman coins. Not ferryman. I sure they were ferryman. No. They belong to the man of the boat. This is a little hidden passage, isn't it? I wouldn't have even known it was here if I hadn't checked the map. Right. What is this any loot about? Hidden beneath the waters. Oh, there is. Excellent. Okay. This probably isn't actually an option. Right. Get out of this hole. We have the Shattered Forge to explore. Alright. Wait. Where are you? I see you on the map, but I cannot find you. Here you are. You're coming with me. I have a lot of money now. Um, to be fair, a lot of things will be very expensive in the future. But still, I'm pretty fond of uh, about how much money I have currently. Can I upgrade you further? I can. Not far enough, but 
you know, eventually I might be able to max out this axe. Max out the axe. Yes. The Shattered Forge. There's something in the center. A centerpiece, shall we say. And I, it appears I need to go to the other side of this hall to get to it. Which probably means passing through one of these places. What's with this stuff? Yeah, probably. It probably means going underwater, actually. Or if not underwater, then through the water. I just keep swimming into a wall because I can't actually see the wall. Uh, do you Nephilim need to breach? I don't remember. Well, anyway. We saw the hole, we're going down the hole. That's a large hole. A deep, deep. Hole. Something, something, holy hole. It's large hole. What's their problem? They die as soon as they touch water. Hello, what are you? Are you the dungeon map? Yes, you are. Hello, dungeon maps. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Can I just blow it up and call it a day? Done.